Group Nation, what is up? I'm here monitoring for an oncology study. That's why I'm a little quiet. Um, so it's oncology. There's a lot of AEs. And two things I want to talk about pertaining to oncology studies this time, because I've done videos on why monitoring oncology is so hard, but I wanted to go more in depth and more tactical on uh, really two things, but they're related. So in oncology studies, there's way more adverse events than in most studies, right? There's way more serious adverse events than in most studies. Matter of fact, there's a whole guidance document called Common Terminology Criteria for Adverse Events just for oncology studies. It's CTCAE. We are now on version 5, and it basically tells you what grade you give under what circumstance to an adverse event in oncology. This does not really occur in any other indication. As far as I know, I've been doing clinical research since 2005, and we don't grade our AEs. We, we do grade them as mild, moderate, severe, but in cancer, you actually grade them 1 through 5. Okay, so grade 1 is mild, asymptomatic, mild symptoms, uh, clinical or diagnostic observations only. Uh, grade 2 is moderate, minimal, local, non-invasive, uh, age-appropriate um, activities of daily living, which is ADL. Grade 3 is severe or medically significant, but not immediately life-threatening. Hospitalization or prolongation of hospitalization. Um, disabling, limiting self-care of ADL, which is the activities of daily living. And grade 5 is a death related to AE. So obviously, from grade 3 on, they're actually serious adverse events. Um, and if you don't want to print out or keep a copy of this PDF, the CTCAE uh, version 5 is the one we're on as of today, December 13th, um, 2019. There is an app called Onco Assist. I have no, I'm no affiliation with them. Uh, actually, one of the PIs that I monitor, his site told me about it. So this is an easier way, even easier way than going through this. A PDF file, you just open up this app, you can find the CTCAE. And so, for example, let's say somebody had diarrhea, which they did today at one of my visits that I'm monitoring. It tells you what grade one, two, three, four, five is. Okay, grade one is an increase of um, less than four stools per day since baseline, grade two is four to six stools per day since baseline increase of four to six stools per day since baseline. Grade three is uh, seven stools in increase. Four is life-threatening, five is death. Obviously those are eight, oh, those would be SAEs, but this is why CTCAE are important because, and this is why monitoring oncology is so hard. People have AEs all the time. So most protocols have provisions in the protocol where you have, the site has to reduce the dose modify the dose depending on what grade of a AE a subject experience. So you got to look at the protocol and then you got to make sure you got to read between the notes and you got to make sure you read the progress notes because there's so many AEs you're not going to catch them all. I mean it's you you're not going to catch them all no matter how good of a job you do. You got to read between the lines, read the progress notes, make sure that they are graded appropriately. If in doubt, confirm with OncoAssist or the CTCAE version 5 quick reference, which is OncoAssist app. Um, and then make sure that the protocol, make sure they're following the protocol when it comes to adjusting the dose when it comes to the AE. So just a quick little video to help you guys out who are learning on oncology monitoring or even coordinating. Um, that's what I discovered today as I've been monitoring. So I wanted to talk to you about that. Take care.